In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your G Fuel taste better. I sometimes get people that come to me and tell me that their G Fuel tastes horrible, it's too chalky, it's too light, it's too strong. I've come up with a few different ways, a few different tips and tricks for how you can make your G Fuel to be perfect every single time. Number one is making sure that you've got enough water so if you go on the g fuel website you'll see that they sell these shaker cups this is one of the normal ones this is a 500 milliliter one or a 16 ounce if i show you one of the tubs if you are to open one of the tubs up somewhere in the tub sometimes it's right down the bottom you will be given one of these a little scooper so as you can see i've taken the top off of my scooper now the reason for that is because that top funnel bit is just to make sure that if you have a, a water bottle then you can like scoop it into the water bottle without it falling off but if you have a shaker cup obviously you are not going to need that so take the top bit off and you want to fill the powder up to the line uh, just like this you want to make it so the powder in the scooper is just like that and it's just thereabouts in line with the thing when you get your one scoop you want to put that then into 16 ounces or 500 milliliters of water and that should be just enough if the flavor is a little bit too weak then put a little bit less water in or if the flavor is too strong put a tiny little bit more in and then that should help the problem a little bit so guys the second way you can make your g fuel taste nicer is to make sure that the temperature is right when you have your g fuel and you put in the 500 milliliters of water you want to always make sure that, that is as cold as possible i don't know the science behind this but whenever you have g fuel that's freezing cold it tastes so much better than if it's like lukewarm i don't know how but it just makes the flavor just taste a bit different for example uh, i've got Jesus. like i was saying for example in this shaker cup i have got some pineapple g fuel i filmed a review on this about an hour ago but now it's gone lukewarm and uh, shake it up quick i'm gonna have a quick try of it and i'm gonna see if it tastes different to how it did an hour ago when it was freezing cold yeah i mean it doesn't taste bad but it definitely does not taste as good as it did an hour ago when it was ice cold so the second trick is to make sure the water is as cold as possible tip number three it's kind of similar to number two you could probably call this step 2.5 but you also want to make sure that you add in if you can a few ice cubes into your g fuel the reason why you want to do that is because whenever it's colder it just tastes better but also i have a feeling that it makes it mix a tiny bit better as well i always find that if i have ice cold water without having ice in my g fuel compared to having it with ice it does still taste a little bit different if you can tip number three is to make sure that you've got ice in your shaker as well so step number four to make sure that the water you get filtered water or bottled water i sometimes find that if i get it straight from the tap it doesn't taste as nice i live in the uk so you can actually drink tap water and i live in wales so welsh water is known for being really really nice and even still don't think it tastes as nice with uh with having it with tap water so tip four and this completely uh changed the way how i drink g fuel it also made it a lot cheaper for me to get the best water possible that is to pick yourself up one of these this device probably wondering what this is what is that this is just a water filtration jug and uh, it goes through there and the bottom here is just fresh clean water with nothing in it and it tastes so much different and so much more smooth so much more better than having normal tap water or even from the bottle this is an unbranded one i know you can get branded ones if you guys did want to pick one up i will leave a amazon affiliate link down in the description below so tip four is just to make sure that your water is the best quality water that you can get tip number five is if you guys have tried the four other steps and the g fuel still doesn't taste that nice it could just be that type of flavor i know i've definitely had this in the past i've tried flavors which i haven't really liked i haven't got along with there are some flavors that are lighter than others there are some flavors that are stronger than others there are some flavors that mix really well for example pineapple watch the review after this one if you guys haven't and then there are some which just do not mix well at all in my opinion <coughs> cherry limeade maybe try a different flavor the reason why g fuel is so popular is because they have 
a wide range of different flavors which everyone will like. I mean, if you don't like the light flavors, uh, maybe try something way more strong like Shiny Splash or the Juice or, or any flavor like that. If you've got a really strong flavor and you prefer the lighter flavors, give Watermelon a go, give Kiwi Strawberry a go, give Raging Gummy Fish a go. Basically, you just want to play around. It could just be the flavor that, you, uh, that you've picked up that you might not like. I mean, there are some which just aren't very good flavors. There you have it, guys. Those are five tips for how to make your G Fuel taste better. Remember, guys, the taste of them is subjective to everyone. So just feel free to experiment with the different flavors, see which works for you, and uh, hopefully you get a G Fuel flavor that you mix right and you really enjoy. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Make sure you go down below, drop a like on the video and comment what you thought. So again, thank you guys all for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.